All right, guys, this is big. This is super big. My first ever CBCS submission and unboxing. Hey everybody, what's good? It's your boy Devin. Welcome back to the D3 channel. I am so freaking excited. This is my first ever CBCS submission and unboxing. For those that don't know, CBCS is stationed out in Texas, um, Dallas, Texas, I presume, um, I presume, or Port Fort Worth, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, C um, CGC is in Florida. CBCS is in Texas. This is another um, really, really great and good um, comic book grading company. Uh, my ultimate Fallout 4 in that Captain America first Falcon as Captain America um, are both from CBCS. I've bought those, and so I've never sent books. these right here if the grades are hidden but let's get into it guys no more introductions let's get into it i'll do all that if you like subscribe all the stuff like that towards the end let's get into it no more wait i am so freaking excited for this like this is awesome and the crazy thing about it the turnaround time pretty freaking fast um joseph told me that the books got there on a friday um, maybe like two Fridays ago and then literally the week literally a week later they're already grading getting shipped out crazy um if you think about CGC's timing and everything that is incredibly fast I can definitely see why people go to CBCS a lot more than CGC especially if you want books um, for a quick return a quick sell or anything like that they can just go ahead and just get them um back in speed time and i hear the cases are better too surprisingly so um because cgc i've been seeing a lot of pictures of cgc having a lot of issues with their re um with their cases and quality control and stuff so i don't know we'll see but we're opening it up this is how they're packaging it not bad i've been hearing that C cbcs isn't best on the packaging but Hey, this feels pretty hefty and secure for me, so I can't, I can't complain. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. I can't remember how many books I've seen. I think it was maybe seven, maybe eight books. Um, here, here they are. Yeah, Woo! that is a big batch, guys. I'm telling you. I will let you guys know how much I paid for the submission. We'll go over cover price um, data and all that on these books, what they're going for right now and what the highest sales of those are and kind of give an average of what those books are um, in the market as we go. So I'm going to flip these over so I don't know anything. And we're just going to start from the top and just go all the way down, guys, all the way down. Sorry for the bubble wrap and all that. I'm definitely going to tone that out in the video. got them cracked we got them open let's get into it guys we're gonna go from top to bottom here top to bottom put those back down here and we're gonna get into it guys i'm not looking at the gray you guys are gonna be the first ones to know before i even do take them out the plastic and i'm trying to remember where the grades are i'm facing this way i think it's this way yeah okay oh okay great Great, great introduction right here. All right, guys. So this 
is really important. So um, this is Invincible Iron Man number nine, the first full appearance of Riri, first print. Um, climbing up, really climbing up. We know she's going to be in Black Panther 2, and she's having her own Disney Plus series later on down the line. Interesting enough, um, you guys seen in a couple of videos back, um, in one of the year-long CGC videos, I can't remember which one it is, but I unboxed this as a CGC graded, and it came back at 9.6. The 9.8 of her cameo was up there, but I felt as though both of them were 9.8 material, and I was like, Joseph, 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 I'm telling you, I think the, I think this book was a 9.8 candidate. I don't see no flaws on this. I'm telling you, I think CGC just dropped the ball on this. And so we got it cracked out the CGC case and sent it to CBCS to see what they said, see if they rock with CGC's grading or if it went down or if it went up. This was a gamble, a real gamble, but this book is gorgeous. This book is absolutely gorgeous. Um, case really well. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging the, C, the CBCS cases. They feel more, they're slimmer, but tougher. Um, yeah, I, I'm digging this. But guys, let, let, let's see what we got. <laughs> let's go. Nine, eight, nine, eight white pages, baby. And I heard CG, I heard CBCS grades harder than CGC. So the fact that CBCS says this is a 9.8, let's get it, baby. First full appearance of Riri Williams later becomes Ironheart. Let's go. That is a big book right there. We're going to go through all the cover price later on in the video. I'm, I'm hyped, guys. This, yes, I knew this was a 9.8. I just, I knew it. I knew it in my soul that this was a 9.8. Glad to have both first prints of her first appearance and first cameo in a 9.8. I have her first appearance in second print in a 9.6, but I think that has potential to be a 9.8 as well. So I'm trying to get a whole re reset full of nine eights if I can muster it. Let's get into it, guys. Okay, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. That is a great way to start this CBCS unboxing. Okay, I, I think I saw, the, I saw the back, so I know what this one is. All right, guys, you, you already know what this is, guys. Come on. First appearance of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. You know Miss Marvel is coming into the, in the summer. You know this is a big book right now. Um, I'm nervous. I am excited extremely nervous of this book let, let, let's see what we got man let's see what we got nine six let's go let's go nine six i am not mad at that joseph had it at a nine four maybe a nine two um but i i am so freaking happy that this got a nine six honestly i'm happy because this book is extremely hard to get in high grade because that green Easily, like I, every single book that I've seen of this, uh, every every single cover that I've seen of this book always has spine ticks on the green. Always, always, always. I I haven't seen a super clean book like this, but I'm happy. Nine six in Miss Marvel. Yeah, nine sixes are blowing up. I am definitely happy about that. That we're going off. We're we're hitting good, guys. We're hitting good. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. We're picking up the next one. I don't know what this one is. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yesterday. No. So this video comes out on Wednesday. So two days ago, Thor Love and Thunder first teaser trailer came out and that thing was fire, guys. This thing, that, that trailer was fire. Showed more, but revealed less, which is what I love. I love it. I love it. This is the one and I believe the one in 25, Thor number two. I've been telling you guys, if you follow, click the description below, hit that Instagram link. I've been posting, uh, I've been posting sleeper keys on there for a while. And I'm telling you, I've been on the money with them. I'm telling you, people want to go for what if number 10, which is Jane Foster. Uh, what if she finds Milnier? Um, Thor's hammer that is out of Marvel continuity that's not in the main continuity this right here this is Thor 2 first full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor says it right there first full appearance of Thor goddess of thunder I'm telling you this is a sleeper key 
people been sleeping on Thor number two for a while now. They go for Thor number one does just because she's on the cover, but that has nothing to do with that. Has nothing to do with that. I think that book is a good book, but it shouldn't be as high as her first full appearance. This is the one in 25. I picked this up years ago, maybe two years ago, um, back home, like maybe an hour away, I think in Shreveport, I think, or whatever, but picked it up for a great price, underpriced, actually, I think for $15 um, that I picked this book up. Let's see what we got. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, the Asad Rebic Retailer Incentive 9-8, baby. Look at that. Come on, man. Yeah, this is a sleeper. You already know Comic Tom is going to be hitting this on his top 10 at the end of the week. I'm telling you, pick up on them Thor 2s while you can, while they're cheap. 1 in 25, baby. I think this is the 1 in 25. If I'm if I'm incorrect, please let me know in the comments. But I think this is the 1 in 25 retailer incentive. First full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. Love it. Love it. That is going up on the wall. All of these are going up behind me, guys. This, this whole thing is going to change. There's going to be a mixture of CBCS and CGC now. Let's get it, baby. We own it. We own it right now. I'm loving it. I'm loving this. Joseph, shout out to my man, Joseph, guys. I'm definitely going to drop his email in the description. So if you want your books pressed and cleaned by him, I'll, you can immediately message him and talk to him yourself. The dude is a god when it comes to this stuff, as you can see. But all right, guys. A, cover A, Thor 2. We already talked about this book. First Jane Foster as Thor. Let's see. 9-8, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Yeah. 9-8, Thor. First Jane Foster as Thor, baby. Cover A. And we got that 1 in 25 incentive, baby. You know both of these are going up on the wall, baby. Come on. Quit playing with me. I'm telling you. I'm on the money when it comes to these books, guys. These books, guys. I'm telling you. It I talk the talk, but I walk the walk as well. I'm not going to tell you to pick up these books and these sleeper keys if I'm not picking them up myself and getting them graded. I'm telling you, this book now is now going to start to rise up. I'm telling you, people are now starting to realize that all those cameos don't matter. The first full appearance of her is the book to get, guys. The book to get. And if I'm correct, the next book should be following this issue as well but i'm not sure i'm not sure but it's in here yeah exactly i'm on the money guys this is the next big big key for jane foster thor if for, if thor 2 is her first full appearance this is when she is revealed to be thor goddess of thunder this is just the first full appearance of jane foster as thor but this is revealed um this her identity is revealed in this and that she has late stage cancer which Thor God of um, Love and Thunder is adapting in the movie. So that's going to be a big, important storyline, guys. This is a heavily, heavily underrated book right now because this book reveals the identity of Jane Foster as Thor and that she has cancer. But let's see. Let's see what we got. 9-6, baby. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad. If you've seen my Wilkerson Comic Con video, you know I just picked up a second copy. So you know I'm sending that straight to Joseph to get graded as well. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm on this. Jane Foster revealed to be Thor, goddess of thunder. I'm telling you, 9-6. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at 9-6s at all. That is a heavily slept on book right there. But I got a near mint copy in tuck, so I'm good. I'm good. All right, guys, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're on the money, guys. I, woo, we haven't hit anything low yet, baby. Come on. Quit playing with me. All right, guys. The last issue of Thor, God of Thunder, this incredible run by John Aaron. Um, yeah, this is the um, R.M. Guerra variant. Uh, first appearance of Thor, Goddess of Thunder in cameo. Last issue. This is the last issue of Thor God of Thunder. This is the cameos that I was talking about because she cameos a lot before Thor number two, which is her first full appearance. This is the um, a rare um, variant. Hard to find. Hard to find this variant, but I think this one's going to start to pick up because of Jane Foster. People are going to want to start picking up the cameos and all that, but let's see what we got. Nine six, baby. Hey, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. I think I picked this up 
at the same time as I did the um in the retailer incentive of Thor 2. I think I picked them up at the same store. Um just love this run. This is an incredible run. Um I'm reading it again on my iPad. Just an incredible run. I'm not mad at a 96 in this because this is already a rare hard to find variant as it is but i'm telling you you go to cons you're not gonna be paying cover price for that book i can guarantee you that right now okay all right guys this is one of my grails this is one of my grails one of the first big boy books that i've ever purchased this is big. All right. All right. I'm just excited, guys. I'm just excited. If you can feel the energy, let me know if you can feel the energy, baby. Come on. I'm excited. I'm super excited about this. This is my grail, guys. One of my big grails. X-Men 94. Third appearance of Wolverine. I mean, honestly, I think it's his fourth because Hulk 182. I mean, he's already first revealed for full first full appearance of 181. Come on, second appearance, his second appearance would be Hulk 182. So, no, Hulk 180 is his first appearance. Hulk 181 is his first full appearance. So, Hulk 182 is his third appearance. That is just my opinion. I think it doesn't make any sense for him to be in cameo again if he's already been fully revealed in the issue before. So, I say it's his third appearance in Hulk 181. I think this is um, his fourth appearance in this. But nevertheless, um, second appearance of Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler. Um, also, this is the first original story of the X-Men um, in a while. I think um, before this, they were just doing reprints of the previous stories. And then they came with Giant Size X-Men 1. And then they continue with that team here in this own first original story since the reprints so this is a big book for me faded cover um sun damage new x-men begins some fire quest team second cameo of storm nightcrawler colossus and thunderbird angel marvel girl and iceman resign so um gorgeous book guys gorgeous book right here i i love this book um first big book that i've ever picked up um as a grail so in my grail list, I'll definitely drop it in the suggestion video, my grail list, so you guys can see the grails that I wanted to pick up before the year ends. And I'm already three, I think four, three or four in the tuck already. So I'm already doing great and the year isn't even over yet. Let's see what we got, man. 5-0, I'm not mad at that. 5-0 off to white, off white to white, um, 1975. I'm not mad at that. That is my grail Big boy book right here. You know when the X-Men come, the book is going to blow up. And I've already profited from what I spent to get this book and what a 5-0 is going for. So I'm happy. I'm extremely happy to have that back in my collection. Joseph was the man when he did this. I mean, made this book super clean. I mean, the thing that only, the the main thing that really knocked this book down to a 5-0, I think, is just the spine ticks. But under that, the edges are sharp. As you can see, edges are sharp. You can see the spine ticks right there. Look at that back. Super clean back, guys. Super clean back. So I'm not mad at this at all in a 5-0. I'm not. I am very grateful for the guy that sold it to me on eBay and for Joseph cleaning and pressing it and getting it graded. All right, guys, I know the back cover of this. I know the back cover of this. I'm nervous about this one. All right, guys, this is Young Avengers, the director's cut, guys. First appearance of Asgardian, Wiccan, Hulkling, Iron Lad, Patriot, Kate Bishop, Captain America, Jessica Jones, and Iron Man appearance. This is the director's cut. Um, I love the director's cuts, honestly, to me, because um, they throw in little extra stuff, um, character designs, and you know, little notes and stuff like that from the creators of the storyline and stuff like that in the book. So I love the book. I love director's cuts because of that. I'm nervous, guys. What we get? <laughs> Let's go! 9-8. Oh, let's go. What? Get out of town. Yo. A 9-8. 9-8 in this book, guys. 
If you know the price of this book, this is crazy. I picked this book up for $180, guys, and I about five times, six times, maybe seven times my money profit on this book, guys. Young Avengers won the director's cut. This is, I think the highest sell of this book was in the thousands, guys. This is like a $700 to $1,000 um, book right now. I mean, cut in the middle. This is about an eight hundred and maybe nine hundred dollar book right now in a nine eight. Easy, hard to find. Really hard to find. You don't see director's cuts a lot. You see more cover A's, but that um all white cover and the director's cut, not one that you see all day every day. But I got a nine eight, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come on, man. So you telling me that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books, guys. And have you seen a 9-4 yet? Have you seen a 9-2-9-0? We're not even talking about X-Men 94 because that's an old book. But all the moderns, guys, have you seen a 9-4, 9-2-9-0 in those books? No. That is my boy, Joseph, being a killer on the, on the press and clean, man. I, I'm calling him after this video. This is crazy. A 9-8, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm telling you, quit playing with me, bro. Quit playing with me. I know my books, man. I know my books. Ah, Young Avengers. Since we're talking about them, Young Avengers 10. First appearance of Tommy Shepard. Later becomes Speed and joins the Avengers. Um, Yeah, come on. Speed and Wiccan, Wanda's sons. We already seen them in WandaVision. She's on the quest to get them back. Come on, man. You already know these are keys to get right now. These are sleepers right now. They these this book has gone down dramatically um, over time, honestly. Like just because we haven't seen anything of them, haven't heard anything about them or anything, but we know they come um they're a part of the Young Avengers. Come on, man. Young Avengers and Champions, they're coming into the MCU, guys. Let's see what we got. Let's get it, baby. Nine eight. Nine eight first speed baby. Now we got first Wiccan in a nine eight first speed in a nine eight baby. Come on, tell me I'm not killing it right now. Tell me I'm not killing it right now. Yeah baby, let's go. And I held on to this book. I picked up this book back in August actually at a con when I first moved to where I'm at now in North Carolina. Um, this is the one of the first books that I picked up at a con the first one of the first cons i've ever been to up here i picked this up at a great price so yeah let's go baby come on let's go we got two more books guys two more books let's get it. if this is a long video i'm sorry i'm just hyped i'm excited come on man first cbcs submission and this is going off this is, man oh my goodness guys all right guys hey first cassie langa stature First appearance of uh, Billy Kaplan as Wiccan. Um, and first Cassie Lang as Stature. Iron Lad leaves the Young Avengers. So, yeah. So, I think in Young Avengers as Guardian is um, WandaVision, Wanda's son, um, Billy. So, yeah. Of course, Billy. Billy as Wiccan. Um, so, it's interesting um, that this one says this is the first appearance of him becoming Wiccan. But in here, it says first um, appearance of Asgardian with um, parentheses saying Wiccan. And so like that. So I think he changes his name from Asgardian to Wiccan. But see what we got. Did I say I was killing it? Did I say I was killing it? So you telling me all my young Avengers keys are nine eights. All my Young Avengers keys are 9-8s. What can I say, man? I picked this up on Macari for $30. $30. Everywhere else had it for $70, $80, $90. I picked this up for $30, and it's a 9-8. Come on, man. Not a crack misplaced like in sight all these cases are to the t perfect like 
CBCS might be getting my money from now on, honestly. I love CGC, but I might just go to them when it comes to signings, honestly. CBCS, they're, they're really showing their tail off right now when it comes to quality. Let's just be honest with it. Let's, let's be honest. Last book, guys. Last book. This has the notes in it. All right, let's. Don't know what this one is. Um, oh, a big grail. Another one to my grail list. First Cindy Moon as Silk, guys. Come on, Spider Verse goodness. Come on, you know this is a hot character, very popular. I mean, I, I can just stop talking about her. Y'all know the potential in this. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Nine eight again. Come on, man. I I can't. This is too much goodness right now. Way too much goodness right now, bro. First appearance in the origin of Cindy Moon as Silk. Come on, bro. In a nine eight. You know what? You see my Gwen Stacy's. You see my Penny Parker. My Spider Man Noir. My oh, my Miles. Come on, Spider Verse crew. Let's get it, baby. Come on. Quit playing with me, guys. That is. Man, what it's too long of a video. Like, I don't even know if I need to do cover price. I'm gonna look at them. I might put them in the description just so you can look at them if you want to. But I'm gonna keep this video under 30 minutes. Man, CBCS, you have my money from now on. I am coming to you guys for my grading. CG until CGC gets their act together, honestly. Um, they're taking too long, too much damage on books, too much damage in cases, like. You know, at the end of the day, a hey, quality better than quantity at this point. A lot of y'all do too much, man. CBCS, y'all got my attention. I'm coming to you guys from now on. About to about to go in the box and start picking up um some more stuff to send to Joseph to get sent off to get graded, guys. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Now I can say it. If you like what you see and you want to see more. Click that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. You've seen the subscriptions, baby. Come on. Just a couple of months ago, we was at 200 and something. Now look at us. We're at over 500 subscribers. We're halfway there to 1K. Halfway there to 1K. Definitely, please, please let me know if I'm doing a good job. Do you like these videos? Is there something else that you want me to do differently? Um... Let me know because I'm I'm making this channel for you guys, for you guys to enjoy it. You can enjoy me. I can enjoy this and creating these videos for you guys. So let's make this into the perfect channel for you guys, for all your comics and comic um news, comic books, speculation, all that stuff like that. I got some stuff in the tuck for you guys. I can't say right now, but some things are being worked on right now. Maybe a potential partnership. I mean, you know, hey. D3 Comics is on the up and up, baby. But thank you guys for watching. And remember the golden rule, baby. Collect what you love and love what you collect. I'll see you guys later, man. Oh my God, bro. This is crazy. Oh.